start with Madder, Nader, sorry, from Pathmaker, has six minutes to pitch. Thank you. It's great to be here today, and I wanted to thank the organizers of the Brain Forum Conference for putting on a splendid event. My name is Nader Yagubi, and I'm president and CEO of Pathmaker Neurosystems. At Pathmaker, we're working to open up a new era of non-invasive neurotherapy with non-invasive systems that, for the first time, enable us to treat patients with paralysis, muscle weakness, and spasticity. We're focused on treating patients with disruptions of neural pathways, and these are patients with stroke, cerebral palsy, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injury, and traumatic brain injury. Just in US, Europe, and Asia alone, there are over 48 million patients totally underserved with these uh, indications. The consequences are shown on this slide. These are spasticity, as well as paralysis and weakness. We can actually treat both. Pathmaker is a clinical stage neurotechnology company with offices in Boston and in Paris. We're partnered with leading research institutes in France and in US. We're developing breakthrough non-invasive technology for treating neuromotor conditions using coordinated multi-site neurostimulation. We've treated over a dozen patients to date, so we've gone well beyond animal proof of concept, and we now have our first IRB-approved human clinical trial underway. We're also working on our first financing that actually takes us to revenues on both products and gets us to, reven uh, to revenues. We've put together a veteran startup team with over 120 years of experience. I've been doing early stage life sciences for over 15 years. I'm a physician, did my PhD in neuropharmacology, and I've worked on a string of startups coming out of MIT and Harvard Medical School. We have Jake Maslow as our chief intellectual property officer, and he's a patent lawyer by training. We have Sheila Heyer, who's our uh, VP of Regulatory. She spent many years at FDA and also at Boston Scientific, and she's also a lawyer. And we have Jerry Jennings, who's our VP of Engineering, and he's taken over five products uh, to market. Our board of directors consists of Gordon Beatty, uh, who's had over 40 years of early stage investing experience. He's the founder of Zero Stage Capital and MIT Enterprise Forum. And our newest addition is Deborah DeSanzo, uh, who was uh, CEO of Philips Healthcare and is currently running IBM's Watson Health. We have a world-class scientific advisory board that we've put together. Dr. Zugul Ahmed at CUNY CSI is our company's scientific founder. Here in Europe, we have Jean-Charles Lamy at ICM, uh, who's also one of the world's uh, leading experts in TSDCS. And we have Dr. Bashir Jiraya, who's a functional neurosurgeon uh, in Paris. Uh, in U.S., we have Jason Carmel, who's a neurologist, Dr. Jack Martin, who's a well-known spinal uh, authority, and Dr. Warosko. So Pathmaker is developing two platforms for non-invasive neurotherapy. The first is MyRegulator, our double stem device intended for the treatment of muscle spasticity. Our second and flagship platform is MyOAmplifier, which is our triple stem device intended for the treatment of paralysis and muscle weakness. For both systems, uh, treatment consists of 20 minutes of therapy done two to three times a week for a period of a few weeks. So we've gone uh, significantly beyond animal proof of concept and have treated over a dozen patients to date. We now have an IRB approved clinical trial underway. Uh, here we have two patients treated with our technologies. The first is a young boy who was born with cerebral palsy. He had bilateral uh, fisted hands that he could not open. And after a, a treatment with our myoregulator prototype, he was actually able to open his hands for the first time. The second patient here is a 16-year-old uh, girl who was born with cerebral palsy. She was quadriplegic since birth using a wheelchair. And after six sessions with our myoamplifier prototype, her muscles actually got strong enough to get her up and out of her wheelchair, and she's currently walking unassisted. The basis of our technology is coordinated multi-site neurostimulation. We have pioneered the understanding that to treat neuromotor conditions, you need to do multiple stimulations along the neural pathway. We've developed two entirely proprietary approaches, which are shown here. Our double stem technology is the basis of myoregulator, and it combines spinal stimulation done using TSDCS, which is transspinal direct current stimulation, together with peripheral stimulation done using direct current. 
And what this does is to suppress the hyperexcitable circuits found in spasticity. Our triple stim technology is the basis of myoamplifier used to treat uh, Julia. And this combines cortical stimulation done using TMS of the motor cortex together with cathodal TSDCS and peripheral stimulation. And what we're doing here is actually amplifying the signals that are going from brain down to muscle. So we've moved very fast to actually get our, our first device in trials. Um, we have uh, uh, engineering and safety testing completed. On the regulatory side, FDA has given some very great feedback. And we now have two uh, single center trials designed. We're working with ICM in Paris. And we actually are part of their neuroscience incubator and Feinstein Institute in New York. Our development plan is shown here, and we get to uh, CE mark approval within 18 months on my regulator and FDA approval in two years. With Myo Amplifier, uh, we're starting engineering on the close of our financing, and we get to CE mark approval in two, two and a half years. So in summary, what we're doing is working to open up a new era of non-invasive neurotherapy. We have breakthrough technology using coordinated multi-site neurostimulation. We have a veteran team, a world-class SAB that we've been able to assemble. We've been thinking from day one about transatlantic collaborations, and we have clinical trials now underway. Our IP has already issued, we have issued patents, and we're working on our Series A. Thank you very much. A fantastic pitch, thank you very much. And um, exactly six minutes. So Claude, over to you. Well, maybe, uh, uh, my colleagues might have another question, but uh, I'd shoot with one. one. So you, your um, first uh, product, uh, how does it actually compare to other uh, uh, simple one sin single stimulation, for example? What's the advantage in, sure. in, in spasticity, for example? Sure, uh, that's a great question. And our first product actually is intended to treat muscle spasticity. Current treatments right now that are approved and available consist of oral medications such as baclofen. If that doesn't work, it's implantable intrathecal pumps that, which deliver baclofen into the spinal cord. And then you have Botox, which is quickly becoming a, a major standard of care. And beyond that, you basically have surgery. So there are very limited options for spasticity. And for paralysis and weakness, there are no approved therapies. Maybe I have a question, I can follow it up. Um, I'm very curious whether you have a more specific market indication for your device, because I'm curious to know whether the outcomes that you may get in the different patients, I understood that you have 38 patients or so, is different depending upon the stage of the paralysis or the age of the patient. So, uh, yeah, yes, uh, and just, just to comment on that, we of course as a young company have to pick a certain indication to start with. And we have picked stroke, which when you look at the numbers is by far the largest number of patients who are afflicted. So our initial clinical trials are focused on stroke and uh, we expect that once we have approvals, physicians will be able to use it on other patients who would benefit and eventually we'll be doing trials, formal trials in other I'll indications. Is this uh, stroke with upper extremity? Uh, correct. Actually, uh, the trial that has started in uh, Northwell Health Feinstein Institute is upper extremity spasticity correct. following stroke. No, but I mean, it's great you've, because the company is a couple of years old, I guess. Correct. I'm interested in the IP. Is the IP been built by the company? It's owned by you guys, or is it licensed? Yes. Yeah, so uh, the IP has emerged from CUNY CSI in New York. And it's coming out of the lab of our scientific founder, Dr. Zagul Ahmed. It's been exclusively licensed to our company. And uh, really, it's uh, uh, for an early stage company, we have issued US patents at this point on both technologies. And we have actually foreign issuances as well. So it's a relatively mature for a young company. Got it. Uh, one last question. Can I just? No, perhaps one more. Yeah, okay. Just one very quick one. I'm just interested. Please. Pricing, have you thought about it? And exit strategy, I mean. You yeah, uh, pricing is uh, something we're, we're continuing to have discussions about. I'd love to talk with you out offline. Uh, and for exit strategy, we think we could build a pretty major company here. But of course, along the way, probably some of the larger companies will get interested. So you're looking to stay? You well, we parties. shall see. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? You've probably got time for one more. Uh, Give them a hard time. Come on. Maybe <laughs> one more thing in terms of uh, 
back to the business model. Sure. Uh, do you have reimbursement? In particular, you are in Europe now. So uh, right. uh, how do you think uh, 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 reimbursement yeah. rates are ready for your young company? Right, uh, that, that's a great question. And uh, in the US, we've engaged a reimbursement consulting firm, and they've done an initial small uh, project for us. And uh, we will soon be doing a similar uh, study in, in Europe. Our business model, just to comment, our first generation system is going to be device plus disposables, but then we expect to migrate to a fee-per-use cloud-enabled system. So that is the model, I think, in So is that the reason you, you started in France? Do you think that will be favorable reimbursement rates there? Or is Probably it more for not. scientific reasons? <laughs> uh, it's more for scientific reasons. Uh, but of course, we'll have to deal with that on a territory by territory basis. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. What a fantastic first presentation.